Hello and welcome, I'm Bert the Stormtrooper and today we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers Generation 1 Headmaster Highbrow and I love this toy. But before we get into the review, if you haven't done so already, please take a moment to consider subscribing to the channel. It won't cost you anything, but it will help me and the channel out. If you'd like to further help out the channel, please share with your friends if you like what you see. Share this video on social media, invite them to come over, check out the channel, and subscribe as well. Now that we're losing our community options and notifications, the best way to keep up on what's going on with the channel is to come back and check often. I usually upload one to two videos a week, sometimes more. Finally, if you'd like to further help out the channel, I have placed a donate button up at the top banner. If you want to click on that, I certainly would appreciate it. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Now let's check out the review. Hello and welcome. I'm Bert the Stormtrooper, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers Generation 1 Headmaster Highbrow and his partner, Gort. And I love this toy. Originally released in 1987, he retailed for approximately $10. And this guy is like this really cool space Cybertronian dual bladed helicopter here. Uh, crazy design, but I absolutely love the design of this figure. I always have. Although being a, a space vehicle, I don't know why he would need uh, propellers. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a question for me to answer. So, uh, Highbrow here in vehicle mode is approximately 7 inches long. He's about 3 inches tall, and he's got an impressive, massive wingspan of about 7.5 inches wide. He's actually wider than he is long. Very cool little uh, vehicle mode here. Um, let's bring these up, maybe, to have some landing skids there. Yeah, very, very cool. He does have actual working landing gear so you got these little wheels here that turn and then on the back he does have a little wheel right there so you can actually roll highbrow when he is in vehicle mode very very cool i love the blue and the gray design on our uh, colors on this helicopter and yeah he, this is i guess for cybertronian space vehicle it is a believable enough uh helicopter i mean when you look at him from the side he does actually evoke the design of an aircraft he's got the cockpit in the front he's very sleek he's got the wings he actually does have a functional tail and rudders in the back there so this is this is a believable aircraft mode i really really love that about this figure we have an opening cockpit and this is where gort is going to be sitting at controlling or piloting the vehicle so we can get him out and take a look at him. Gort is going to be approximately two inches tall. And as with most headmasters, the articulation is going to be minimal. You can turn his arms, although I wouldn't recommend it with the square arms and the square back there. You're going to put pressure on that little peg right there that holds the arms down. Probably the most common broken piece on these headmaster figures. The uh, thighs can go forward and the knees can bend. So you can give him kind of little sitting positions. And as you saw, he's able to sit perfectly fine inside of highbrows um cockpit right there when he's piloting so this is one of the things that i really like about headmasters is that there is something for the headmaster to do when the big vehicle or the big robot is in vehicle mode there's an actual cockpit that these guys can sit inside of this is something that i really love about the headmasters so there's functionality for uh the headmaster partner in both modes really love that a lot Getting into transformation is going to be relatively simple. We're going to start with the blades here and very carefully just kind of collapse these together. Those are very tight. <laughs> so I want to be very careful. And uh, just kind of move those. And then what I like to do is I like to take these and just kind of move them up. Out here, out of the way, stand the figure up. And let's move the camera up a bit. All right, we're going to take these weapons right here, pop these guys off. These are going to be our weapons for the robot. We're going to take this whole cockpit right here and rotate it back. Take the back of the vehicle, extend it out, and then we're going to turn the whole back portion there to create our legs. And you can really use either side for the legs. It doesn't really matter. You can turn them at the waist. And uh, I like to use this side because this side doesn't have the screws that this side does. But he does have the screws on the chest. So if you're a little more OCD and you want him to look uh, more, uh, I guess, even, you can do that way. It doesn't really matter. Either side will work just fine for the feet. I just like that one there. Uh, we're going to reach these little tabs right here. And we're going to pull out the fists. And let's get these out of the way. And there's a uh, highbrow in robot mode ready for his head. We're going to bring in Gort. And bend him over at the waist, flip up the tab to create the head. 
we're going to open up his chest piece so that we can see his stats and go ahead and plug in Gort. And there is Highbrow in his robot mode. And we can see that his speed, strength, and intelligence are pretty much average all the way across the board. Just a little bit above a 5 right there. So there's Highbrow in robot mode. And we can bring in his weapons. Go ahead and give him those. Here in robot mode, Highbrow stands approximately six and a half inches tall as far as articulation goes not a whole lot of articulation his arms can go all the way around and you're going to want to be careful though because these blades are just hanging freely here so you're going to want to be careful not to say uh, be going this way and then when you're going to go this way these get caught here and break off very common breakage on this figure so you're going to want to be very careful with these blades and how you're storing them. I know that some people like to just leave these open so that they're not spinning around crazy back there. Again, you can do whichever way you want. Uh, you're going to want to have to uh, do whatever you need to do to watch these guys so that you don't break them. I like to just collapse them and then put them up against his back right there so you don't see them. So, yeah, that's that's really kind of about it. Uh, I guess you can say he's got waist articulation, but not that it's going to do much for us because we have nothing at the legs, nothing at the knees. Uh, very cool figure going all the way around. Not a whole lot of backpack. Headmasters do have backpacks because the headmasters all have cockpits. The cockpits have to go somewhere, so they're all going to have uh, their cockpits in, in the back there. Uh, so they're going to have a little bit of a backpack. But other than that, pretty sleek looking figure. I like this figure a lot. For comparison, here he is with another headmaster. This is the KO Weird Wolf that I reviewed uh, not too long ago. And you can see what these guys look like together. My Habrow is a, uh, a genuine G1 figure. This is not a KO. I actually don't know of any Autobot Headmaster KOs available. So there's that. So you can see what these guys would have looked like together back in 1987. So very cool figure. Uh, absolutely love these Headmaster figures. Uh, all of these figures that came out later in the run... Uh, once I had grown up a little bit and I wasn't interested in Transformers all that much, I'm kind of rediscovering them all now. And I'm re I'm just really having fun and, and really enjoying these uh, rediscovering or discovering for the first time. Some of these figures that I kind of missed out when I was a kid. So I think that about does it for Transformers Generation 1, Headmaster, Highbrow, and Gort. Guys, we're going to be losing our community features, so our cards and and screens and notifications, those are all going to go away. So if you want to help the channel out, you can help out by spreading the word. Copy the link and share it with your friends if you like what you're seeing. Um, tell your friends about the channel. Have them come over and watch the videos. I also have a donate button up at the top of the channel. If you want to hit on that, I would greatly appreciate it. Let me know what you think of this figure by leaving me a comment down below. Give me some thumbs up, subscribe, and share with your friends if you like what you see. And I'll talk to you next time.